Today's video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. I'll tell you more about them later on in the video. Hello, hello, beautiful people, welcome back to episode number 3 of our series where we test different gear setups and defeat old school runescape bosses. For this video we are doing barrows and we're gonna do barrows in 4 different setups this time around. We're gonna do it in 100k setup, 25 million gear setup, 550 mil gear setup and 1.5 billion gear setup. So we're definitely going to be trying all sorts of different options and we're gonna do 3 hours with every single option. Now in order to keep it interesting for you guys, I'm going to be giving away every single item I get in this video and all you gotta do is be subscribed, leave a comment telling me which boss you want to see me do next and also leave a like to help a brother out, right? That being said, let's begin with our very first hour with 100k gear setup. We are going to be starting our battles adventure on kill count number 635. We've also obtained 13 out of 25 items and I'm obviously looking to increase this as much as possible throughout this video. Now when it comes to banking, I will probably never bank. I'm gonna utilize my house to the full potential, I'm gonna teleport to home, regenerate my stats on Ornate Pool of Rejuvenation and then teleport right back to Barrows to continue my runs. Throughout this video I will also be using Strange Old Lockpick. If you do not know what these do, I will show you momentarily. But basically they unlock any door in the barrels and they're gonna make the runs extremely fast, therefore I'll be able to just speed run every single chest. I do believe that sets the mood right, uh, we're gonna log out, log in so the timer resets and we're gonna do our very first hour with a very budget setup. Let's see how it goes. We are logging into the game and the timer starts now. You can see here in the bottom when that reaches one hour, the first hour will be over and I think this setup is going to be honestly probably the most chill, simply because I am only maging. I'm not switching for anything. I'm just utilizing the trident and that is it. Okay, so here's the very first demonstration of how these lockpicks work. You use them on the door and you basically just unlock them wherever they are. It is extremely simple. And this is going to be the first chest from here on onwards. I'll only be showing the chest where I actually get something. Uh, but there it is. 636kc is where we are starting. Oh, there we go. First item, Varax Helm, and it's also a new collection log item. It is currently very cheap, actually. 120k, but we'll take it. Okay, we are closing in on our first hour. I know for a fact I cannot do this in, uh, well, a minute, so this is going to be the last chest for the first hour. Let's quickly check it, and there it is. A back-to-back Varax, -back uh, well, not back-to-back, -back, but... Uh, we got a second unique on a last chest and both of those were Verax Helms. So that actually increases the profit in this hour by a little bit uh, more than I originally anticipated. Uh, but yeah, let's quickly take a look at how this hour went. So... Looking at the money made, we have made 607k, uh, but basically we received two uniques, not the most expensive ones unfortunately, but 607k is not too bad. But when it comes to supplies cost, we ended up using 239k in supplies, just two sips of prayer potions, one manta ray, and uh, well here is basically the casts that I needed for my trident. We basically used 856 charges in one hour. Okay, I am ready to start my second hour and let's see if we can improve on our 16 chests per hour and let's see if we can get more than two uniques in this hour so once again the timer right here in the bottom let's go ahead and do this for a solid hour all right here we go oh there's an elite clue scroll we'll do this at the end of this hour we still got 20 minutes to go though so we're ending on 668kc once again we have done 16 chests 381k made and when it comes to supplies cost 237k in supplies so in this hour what we made uh, a little bit over 100k perhaps our number three is going to be better all right we're beginning with an hour number three with a 100k gear setup let's get right into it hopefully we get some items this time around i think this is where i will lose our first first lockpick that's right so it took us two hours and 13 minutes to break one lockpick and the one lockpick currently costs around what is it 80k so 
very worth it for your investment to be using these if you're doing barrows on a main account you ha you need to buy this like there is no reason to do it without them they just make everything so much better anyways here's another chest let's see if we get something in this one uh yeah it would be too good to get it huh but that's all right already on 672 casey please oh there we go finally 45 minutes in and we get a Derek helm all right here we go the last chest of the last hour with 100k gear setup gives us 11k wonderful now to look into the actual loot we got and we also improved by 1k scene this hour and we still could have another minute but i know for a fact even if i'm insanely fast i can't actually complete the whole run in a minute um but there we go 515k made one unique nothing special unfortunately yet again when it comes to supply costs 225k in just supplies didn't use a single potion didn't use a single food at the end of every setup we're gonna take a look at a very quick overview so on average with 100k gear setup we ended up getting six 16 KC per hour. Our average loot was around 501k and our average supply cost was around 233k. We ended up basically making 267k per hour but that could really change if we you know got more expensive uniques. That's why Barrows is so different and Barrows is so special when it comes to GP per hour because if you land on the expensive items you will be making a lot more money per hour. Another thing worth noting is in this series I'm speed running chests therefore my basic loot is always really bad i am not going to kill skeletons to get higher loot percentage because that is not what i'm interested in i'm just interested in getting as many unique items as i possibly can so if you were to get a higher percentage you would be getting better loot but you would be getting a lot less kc per hour anyways i was very happy with how the first three hours went and our total kc at the end of it was 49 now it's a very good time to move on to 25 million a gear setup so the 25 mil gear sees a couple of updates so we go basically from full void and trident and nothing else to trident of the swamp a cold necklace mage's book eternal boots seer's ring and tormented bracelet originally i thought i'll take like a full tank gear but really i don't take damage in barrows just because of my stats of the account here this is what i'll go with but obviously i could easily take in the tank gears something like that but simply for arim i think i want to have the hides that way I really don't need to bother to ever switch off my gear. Alright, I think I'm ready to begin with a 25 million gear setup. This is going to be the first hour and this should be quite a little bit better and quite a little bit faster. So we'll obviously compare everything at the end of this 3 hour set. The melee will come up for our next setup, but I can already feel the difference, kind of, maybe. We're starting on KC 686 and let's see how many we can get with this setup. Good luck me. Oh, there we go, Thorax Helm, unfortunately already have that, and that's pretty cheap right now, 117k only, well, back to back, and there it is, okay, there it is, this is where the money is, okay, the back to back actually worked, 1.7 million, and this is just the beauty of Barrows, right, um, you can be like really unlucky a couple of hours and then all of a sudden you get a couple lucky drops couple couple arim pieces or cattle pieces and all of a sudden you made yourself a nice little 1.7 million right there and we just began with this hour as well so this is uh, shaping to be a very good hour let's see if we can get it back to back to back that would be kind of nice all right the back to back to back oh my god you're joking well <laughs> all right then thank you game okay well we'll take it can we get a back to back to back? Wait, back to back to back to back! A lot to backs. Wait, what is going on actually? That's 121k right there. We're getting a little bit lucky over here, aren't we? Alright, lovely. We're gonna keep going. Unfortunately, none of these items is anything new for the collection log. But luckily, uh, for one of you guys, it's gonna be pretty good. So, yeah, let's keep going. Nice. Alright, alright, alright. Here it goes. Back to back to back to back. <laughs> Fuck, that would be too good. That would be too good. Good luck, us. Oh, there we go, clue scroll. I'll be doing that at the end of an hour so it doesn't impact our chests. I'm also nearing 700kc, uh, but I'm full on expecting a dry streak now after the luck of the three items that we received. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing that later. But I don't include elites in this video. 696. Hey, there it is, another Dark Helm. Oh my god, this might be the luckiest hour we are doing so far. 236k on this one, a bit more expensive than all, both of the other ones. But that's our fourth item, damn. And we still got 17 minutes to go. This is going to be it. The hour is basically up. I cannot complete another chest in 50 seconds. And this time around, we have done... Let's see. 
Okay, nothing there. We've done 19 chests uh, in this hour with 25 mil setup and I can already tell you the improvement is very very noticeable. Like you can see the damage increase, you can see the speed of the kills uh, and it's just overall a lot more relaxing. Now this hour I got extremely lucky. As you can see I made 2.6 million which is amazing for, uh, for battles. And if we take a look at the supplies that it cost me it cost me 288k just in supplies as you can see we basically used 783 casts of the swamp trident charges right um very very decent hour um i'm gonna go ahead and do my elite and then i'll keep on going with the following hour number two all right here we go hour number two 25 mil gear setup and we begin it's gonna be hard to be the last hour in the last hour we got four items made 2.6 mil uh, but let's see if we can improve it here. It's gonna be hard, but let's try our best anyways. Well, we just broke our second strange old lockpick, and I think this is, what, our five that we are doing this, so... Good luck, us! Oh, there we go, finally got an item. Darug's Legs, and it's a new collection log item. That's, for me, more exciting than actually getting an item, right? Uh, and this one's worth quite a bit. 677k in that chest, but uh, as I said, that collection log pop-up, that's what I am after, basically. Oh, there we go, Elite Clue Scroll. I'll do that at the end of an hour, as we always do. Okay, went uh, a minute over, unfortunately, because of my own... Uh, well, I didn't pay attention to the timer, to be quite honest, but here we go, chest 19 of the hour, and we finish it off here with one unique, which is honestly what you should expect from Barrows, you know, um, if you're doing it in this gear, I think the actual drop rate is like 1 in 17, so expecting 1 in, uh, in an hour seems about reasonable with this setup, uh, but here it is. Just a solid million made uh, if we do not count the actual expenses. And when we do count the expenses, you'll realize we spent about 300k just in supplies, ca casting around 770, well, charges of my staff. Uh, so therefore, we basically made around 700k in this hour. Nothing too crazy, but not too bad at all. I'm happy with my new collection log item. Alright, here we go. I'm absolutely boiling right now, but there we go. 25 mil gear setup, hour number 3. Let's see how much KC we can get this time around. Alright, here we go, the hour is up, zero items, unless this changes it, no, we are ending on 742 KC, so uh, that means we did 18 chests. Now, unfortunately, uh, my loot tracker just didn't work properly and counted two of the barrel chests as doubles, so we're just gonna price check it the good old-fashioned way right here. So in this hour, we made 477k, unfortunately no items, and when it comes to supply cost, we actually ended up using 306k in the supplies. So so let's just say we did not make a lot of money this hour, but that's completely fine because the other hour we got like four items. So let's go ahead and very quickly compare the 25 million gear setup to 100k gear setup. We ended up getting three extra kill count every single hour and that obviously helped in getting a higher chance of obtaining uniques. Now on our very first hour we got extremely lucky so our average profit is going to be quite a bit harder but this just comes down to barrows being barrows. It is very hard to compare every setup with, with each other but what we can take for certain is it cost us about 50-60k more to use the trident of the swamp in comparison to a regular trident but also we did end up getting those 3kc extra every single hour when it comes to uniques obtained we ended up getting five uniques in total and the net profit from the 56 kill count that we did was 3.2 million which is very good meaning we actually ended up making more than a million an hour there and now we are moving on to a very expensive setup 550 million Let's see how that goes. But first, I would love to tell you more about the sponsor of today's video. The Ridge Wallet is a slim and lightweight wallet that isn't bulky like an old-fashioned wallet. It is designed to easily fit in your front pocket and it can hold up to 12 cards and also cash. There are over 30 colors and styles to choose from. My favorite ones are the Carbon Fiber and also Burnt Titanium. The wallets are also very safe as they have integrated RFID blocking to protect you from digital pickpockets. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying around old receipts and unnecessary mass. And here you can see the comparison between the Ridge Wallet and my old wallet. And as you can see, my old wallet is very bulky and I can probably fit most of the things into the Ridge wallet that I had in my old wallet. 
The Rich team is 100% confident that you will enjoy it. They will even give you a test drive for 45 days, so if you do not love it, you can send it back and you will get a full refund. And on top of that, they also have a lifetime warranty. So if that sounds interesting to you, get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to rich.com slash Mika. That is rich.com slash Mika and use the code Mika. Thank you once again, Rich, for supporting the channel. Alright, here's a massive change for the next three hours. We are now jumping on the setup that's worth 550 mil. We upgraded into full ancestral and we are also wearing primordial boots and berserker ring right now. We're no longer using eternals and seers ring as they don't really help us do any more damage and the accuracy is not really important and at barrows. We still have tormented bracelet. We have a nice little spec switch for when I want to kill either Arim or Karil. Um, basically, I'll probably spec Arim and I'll still be maging Karil now. Originally, I could still be using a Void with a Blowpipe, but then it's just too many switches, and then you need to like also bring Ranging Potions, and I'm just not interested in it. So this is how I will go. This is what I prefer, but there is also the range method where you take the Blowpipe, you Blowpipe the Arim, and then you spec down the Karil. Uh, but yeah, that's the setup, 550 million. Should be getting a bunch more chests per hour and uh, yeah let's see how it goes all right here we go we begin with the 550 million a gear setup this is going to be our number one and uh, honestly we'll see how this goes so i am using heart as well and i will be specking down the arim because i think that's gonna be the most chill way to do it but very quickly, can we just appreciate how good this feels? Compared to all the other setups, this feels amazing. Obviously, this setup, majority of the people watching this video actually can't afford this setup. This would be like a uh, pretty high tier, like 25 mil. Yeah, most people can afford it. 5 mil, 100k, everyone can afford it, right? Uh, but this, not a lot of people has this type of setup. And this makes Barrows like crazy, crazy fast. Obviously, Barrows was made way back in the day when any like none of this gear was even possible to have so now you just speed run this extremely extremely fast chest number one of this setup and we already get an item torex body new collection log item as well beautiful we're starting on 743 let's see how many we can get oh man this is fun this is this is this is sick nice we just broke another pickaxe, I figured I might as well update you guys on that. I think that was the third one, but if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong, let's be honest. I lost track at some point. A quick little note that I just recently thought about. Obviously, if you have this setup, this is very expensive to do. Now, you could have all this setup and still just use a... Uh, swamp staff and that would probably be ideal when it comes to the actual cost I'll talk more about it later probably if I remember but yeah this is pretty fast but also pretty expensive to constantly use the sanguinasty staff all right, here we go, the last chest of the hour, and we only obtained that one drop that we got on our very first chest, we're ending it on 764, beautiful, let's quickly TP out and check how much money we made, or did we? Uh, anyways, uh, actual profit 679k, uh, with a nice little Torak plate body, but if we take a look at the costs, we lost money this hour, uh, because using Sanguinesti staff is extremely expensive, as you can see, 700k an hour just to consistently use this staff to cast your spells so if you're in a position where you have this much money perhaps taking a trident of the swamp would actually be a ton better uh, if you are interested in money however i personally don't really care and i'm happy with the fact that i obtained a brand new collection log slot item and also um we did do 22 kills this time around so it was much faster than with a 25 mil setup for example all right, let's begin with an hour number two with 550 mil gear setup. Let's see if we can actually make some profit uh, this time around. Last time we didn't, this time hopefully we do. I forgot to mention, but we did break another Stranger lockpick. So I think that was number four and we're currently in hour number, what, eight or something like that. Uh, I, I don't know, I lost track. Okay, surely I'll get something, right? Oh my, okay, well, I got an elite crew scroll. I'll do this at the end of an hour, but still no items, 17 chests in. The hour is up. Let's see if we get any item on the very last chest here. No, we do not. So, this time around, we ended up getting 23 kill count. We did go a little bit over, but previous hour we did go a little bit under, so it kind of balances it out. Um, yeah, 23 kill count, no items. We did get an elite crew scroll that I'll do right now, um, but we made 480k in just the shittiest tier room as possible now supplies cost we already know it's quite expensive 800k in the supplies so once again we did lose money this hour unfortunate um 
But yeah, nothing I can do there, no items, so next tower hopefully we get a little bit luckier. Okay, it is time, last tower with 550 mil gear setup, let's see if we can actually get some items this time around, it would be absolutely lovely if we could. Uh, but I'm very excited for the next tower because we are moving on to 1.5 billion gear setup and that's gonna be extremely exciting. Here we go. Oh, finally we get an item, there we go, Darok Legs, the first item in a while, uh, worth 650k. Very nice, okay, so hopefully this hour is a ton better, because this is very early on, we are 5 minutes in, we got an item, very nice. Any luckers in the chat today, let's see. Boop. There it is, nice, a new item, sick, and it's a collection log item, nice. It is a very cheap one, yeah, 50k, but I'm very happy it's a new collection log uh, pop-up. Okay, this hour already seems to be a bit luckier when it comes to items. The big 800 for nothing hey this looks beautiful though um yeah still got 25 minutes left to go on this hour though so let's keep going all right we got one minute left i know for a fact i cannot do the full run in a minute so here's the last chest and uh yeah nothing in this one so we ended on 809 kc this time around did 22 chests uh pretty solid honestly it was a quite an all right run 1.1 million made two items obtained but now uh the actual supplies cost we did end up spending 780k in this hour, so once again we basically made what, 400k about? Taking a very quick look at the comparison between the 25 mil setup and 550 mil setup, it is quickly obvious that something doesn't quite feel right here. Now, yes, it is true that we are getting 3kc more per hour approximately when we are using the Sanguinesti staff and obviously the full Ancestral and whatnot, but the biggest problem comes from the supplies. So, here is where my... Uh, suggestion comes in. I do not recommend you to use Sanguinesti staff ever when it comes to barrows. You can probably get a very similar kill count if you use the trident of the swamp and then still use the extra gear alongside it. That would make the supplies cost much less, around 300k, and you would still be making profit even if you get a bit unlucky on the actual items that you are obtaining. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at what we did. So we didn't actually make profit in the whole set of three hours. In fact, we lost a few K every single hour, basically. Ended up getting three items in total, um, and that's about it. Not much else to say. It. Please do not use Sanguinesti staff when you do barrows yourself. But now we are moving on to big harmonized staff. The moment I've been waiting for the most because that staff is amazing. I'm very excited to see the actual comparison between the harmonized staff and the Sanguinesti staff. Alright, so this will be our very last setup that we're gonna do barrows with. This is 1.5 billion worth of gear. Now, just this weapon alone is the only upgrade we are doing from the last hour compared to Sanguilini's staff. And if you're wondering how much this actually costs, um, well, I need to first do this, I guess. It actually costs almost 850 mil, I think. 823 mil, but I think it's a bit more expensive than that. So yeah, it is pretty expensive weapon. Most people won't be able to have this. So I'm very excited to actually use it here and see how much it actually speeds up the whole barrels process. So that being said, I think it is time to start the last three hours of the maximum 1.5 billion gear setup. I decided to put 400 pages in the Tome of Fire so we can actually keep track of how many we use because the supply tracker does not keep track of that, right? That being said, I think we're fully ready to begin. Oh, let's see how this goes. I'm actually excited for this. I am really excited for... Oh, that's loud. Hold up. Oh my god, look at the speed. Look at the speed. Oh my... It's so good. It's so good. Oh my god. Then you come here, you spec this dude real quick. Oh, it sold me. I didn't even one hit it. And then you do this one. Oh my god, look at the damage. Oh my god, this is not balanced. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, we finally get an item. Okay. And it's a big one. It is an Arim rope top. 1.5 million. We're actually making money. This is good. And we still got 20 minutes to kill. So, yo, that's sick. Nice, okay. But look at this, back to back right here. Okay, well technically yes, but also not. Uh, I'll do this at the end of an hour as always, but there's an elite as well, not bad. All right, this does it for the one hour with 1.5 build setup, nothing on the last chest. Okay, that felt really fun. 
we even had some little time to spare there. Um, we have done 24 KC, which is, well, one or two better than with the 550 mil gear setup. Um, we've gotten one item, which is cool. It's one of the most expensive ones as well. Uh, but now I'm interested in how much money we actually use. So if we take a look at the pages that we actually ended up spending here. So I have 371 left, so I've basically used 29 pages. Let's see how much that costs. Okay, so I have used 88k in pages, and on top of that, I have also used 250k in supplies. So this is much cheaper to actually run compared to Sanguinesti staff, and it nets you more kills per hour. So, But it's also extremely expensive to actually get the harm staff. Uh, but that's good, knowing the fact that, you know, I'm not losing that much money per hour. Um, and also, we made quite a decent profit here. 2.2 million made, um, you know, in just drops. So, very good. I'm gonna go ahead, do my elite, and then go on with our number two. Our number two. Here we go. 1.5 build setup. Let's see if we can improve on our, what was it, 24 chests that we did? If we could get 25, that'd be sick. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh my god, we got it straight away. There we go, there's the first item, uh, Torak body. <laughs> okay, this one's a bit cheap, 250k on the, on the, yeah, basically 250k, but we'll take it, it's the first item. I think this is where we lose another lockpick, there it is, another one gone, and I think this one might last us until the end of this uh, challenge. This is it right here. Ah, oh, well, it was. There it is, Karil Crossbro, a brand new item, uh, for some reason I said that extremely weirdly, I'm happy over the fact that this is another collection log item done. We got four minutes left on the hour, however, I do think this is pretty cheap. Yeah, I mean, 160k, yeah, it's one of the cheapest items, but I am still very happy because it's collection log slot unlocked, so that's kind of cool. Nice, finally got a new item, damn. I was being a bit unlucky there. Alright, we got a minute 30 to spend here, quick opening, and we go straight for one more. I think I can make it, I might be a couple of seconds over. Alright, I was a bit of optimistic uh, and uh, misjudged how fast I can actually do another run, but here we go. Last chest of this hour, so to say, and we ended up getting two items this time around. Caril crossbow and Thorak plate body. We did open 25 chests and we did make 900k. Now, uh, the supplies cost, as always, uh, 250k in just runes and potions, but on top of that, we're also adding in the pages. Here it comes, the very last hour of the 1.5 billion gear setup going in. Let's hope to get a ton of items here. Um, but yeah, pretty excited for this hour. Let's see if we can improve. I, we can't improve on a 25kc, let's be honest. So let's shoot for either 24 or 25. Um, and yeah, let's see if we can actually get some cool new items. What is it gonna be? There it is, another body. Um... Wait, was this the same one? Yeah, Torak body, again, uh, the cheap one, 240k this time around. And we are 10 minutes in to the last hour. Let's see if uh, the luck can uh, keep on improving. Here we go. Eh, back to back technically again. A uh, bit of a deja vu happening to us, we got another elite. Here we go. Oh, there we go, we got an item. I didn't even notice it, but that was a Gothen helm. That's a... Uh, wow, Gothen is really cheap. I thought that would be a lot more, but I'm happy with 400k basically. Not bad, another item, and we still got 30 minutes to go. Oh, yes! Thorax hammers! I might be the first person to be excited over the fact that I received Thorax hammers, but it's a new collection log item, and I actually only am missing three items right now, I think. So, believe it or not, I'm actually happy. Nice! That's the third item we've gotten, and we still have... Uh, like 16 minutes to go, not bad. Alright, there it is, last chest of this video. And we get uh, no ball tracks, unfortunately, but we get some blood runes to top it off. Um, we're gonna end it here, lovely. We have done 23 chests in this hour, unfortunately I wasn't, uh, you know, that good during this hour. A couple of mistakes, uh, you know, I've been doing this for 3 hours straight right now. Um, also, when it comes to pages, I'll quickly check, it's probably around 30 again. And uh, we've used 27 pages in this hour, so a little bit less. Comes to be around 82k. Uh, but when it comes to the profit, we have made 1.2 million uh, with three new items. Very cool hour. And when it comes to supplies, you used once again 244k plus 80k. What is that? 320k in supplies, basically a little bit over that. 
It is the time in a video where I compare 1.5 billion gear to 550 million gear and then after all of that we'll compare all the setups between each other. But basically I ended up getting approximately 2 extra kill count with this setup compared to the 550 mil setup. We did end up getting a total of 72 kill count but the big big plus right here that I'm seeing is the actual supply cost. As you can see we basically use 50% of supplies we would otherwise use with Sanguinesti staff. Only 330k approximately we are using in the actual supplies. So in the end we did end up making quite a nice profit of 3.3 million in 3 hours. We didn't get necessarily extremely lucky with the items. Throughout the whole video I'd say we haven't been very lucky. But still it is a nice little waypoint to realize how much money you can actually make with a gear this expensive. Throughout this video we also ended up using 6 strange old lockpicks which comes out to be about 450k of extra costs. And here is also a very nice representation of an entire video put into a picture. Here you can compare how the KC actually evolves depending on what kind of gear we ended up using and how much money we actually ended up making. Now keep in mind that this is Barrows and the money is very inconsistent. In one hour I could get 3 Arim bodies and in another hour I could get 4 Thorag hammers and it would never be consistent. But keep in mind to check the actual kill counts and see how those improve the bigger and the more expensive the gear actually gets. One tip I would once again give out is to not use Sanguinesti staff when you do barrows. I think the toxic staff is going to do just fine and if you have the harmonized orb obviously use the harmonized nightmare staff and end up using that. That's gonna be your best bet all the way throughout barrows. And that is honestly the biggest tip I can give you. Well, can you imagine? You ended up making it till the end of the video and I ended up mining through the whole time while I was editing this, but if you do want to end up winning this entire collection of the items we obtained in this video, make sure you are subscribed, you do leave a like on this video and let me know in the comment which boss you do want to see me do next. I really really appreciate you guys for all the support you've given me throughout the years and hopefully I'll see you guys again with another video. Have a good one, stay safe and bye bye.